Late October, the home of cricket, Lords. Not much happening except for the busy groundsmen keeping the pitch pristine. But in the MCC Indoor School, something rather special is happening. Cricket for Change is running its Hit the Top County competition over three days during half term. The Hit the Top programme has been a programme we launched about 18 months ago now. We're giving young people with disability the same, exactly the same opportunity as any young person who goes to a mainstream school would have. The three main areas are learning disability, physical disability and also visually impaired cricket as well. But Hit the Top isn't just about giving young people with disabilities a fun day out. These cricket mad youngsters are after the same thing as any other kid their age and have trained hard with Cricket for Change development officers to earn their award. A finals day at Lords and the chance to represent their county. To be able to take part in a programme like this and to represent their county at cricket gives them such a such an amazing boost of self-confidence. Many of the pupils there have profound needs um, which could include autism, we have some Downs children and we have some children that have physical disabilities as well. We use disable for visually impaired, you can hear it's got beads in it, makes some noise. Then we've got MLD, moderate learning and we use an incredible, so it's a squeezy hardish ball. Then for PAN, which is the third and last one, PAN is severe learning and physical disabilities, we use slightly bigger football and this is so that they can hold it and bowl it like you would do in mainstream cricket. The only other adaptation for disability is to allow players in frames and wheelchairs the chance to catch the ball after it's bounced once. Other than that, it's a fairly standard game of indoor six-a-side cricket. Everybody bats, bowls and fields. And may the best team win. I think that people who have a disability of one sort or another clearly compensate with strengths elsewhere. By the end of the day, by the end of the sessions, I feel that they are filled with life and confidence um, uh, and certainly pick up skills as they go along and do their best with them and take great pride in delivering those skills. We give young people the opportunity to access cricket within their school environment. We then have set up a network of 24 youth cricket clubs around London um, over the last 18 months and then feed in the most talented to the county festivals that are happening here. I heard about it in my school and they told me about cricket then I started to come with them with all the games, matches and stuff. That's how I drink. It's made me a lot confident in many ways in knowing I can play for our home county. The Moderate Learning Disabilities England team, um, as we know it, is um, very established. They've been going about 10 years for international status as well. And that's where we'll try and get our learning disabilities people um, to aspire to, to get to. Hit the Top has proved to be a hit, not just with the kids, but for one of its organisers too. Yeah, I was uh, shocked and uh, touched, I suppose, that um, one of the young people uh, nominated me for a Pride of Britain award, which um, I, I won it and got invited to, to 10 Downing Street. It was just an amazing experience, met some amazing people, but hopefully it's, it's sort of recognition of what the young people were achieving as much as anything. We made him a flag with his name on it, and, and uh, we're very proud of him. Families really find that they can meet other people who have children with similar challenges and it really helps families to, to sort of network and communicate with others. As parents you can become quite isolated if you've got a special needs child and it just enables us to, to chat together and know there's somebody else there for you. It's not easy bringing up these kids, it, you know it's a lot of hard work but it's just Fantastic for you know someone like me who loves cricket. I can't thank these guys enough. It's just amazing. Number one thing he gets out of it is his own self-esteem. He comes and he really enjoys it. He feels important. When he comes here, he has the opportunity to compete with other children and uh, and feel that he's doing his best and and actually perform at his best within cricket for change. Sam's a full-time wheelchair user, so it gives him you know a lot of independence, you know, to be able to, to play cricket. Okay. Big day today. Some of you will be in charge and helping out your team, making sure they know where they're standing. We've got an apprentice program uh, at Cricket for Change, and some of the young people are now our apprentices. Uh, they qualified as level one cricket coaches, so they can then go back out into the, into the community 
uh, back into the schools that they were educated in and, and give something back. And ultimately, what we'd like them to do is make a wage, earn a living for themselves and be self-sufficient through, through cricket. I'm an apprentice for Cricket for Change at the moment. Hopefully go on to do much more work for Cricket for Change. I'll be helping out, uh, doing a bit of coaching, uh, hopefully being a uh, wage for empire as well. I've done the apprenticeship for the Level 1 course. I enjoyed it. It was hard, but I still t I tried my best. We've got young people now, Ryan Jones for example, who's broke into the England blind cricket team this summer to play against Pakistan. We've also got young people who are regularly training with the England learning disability team. Um, you know, there's, there, were, there were young people being considered for an Ashes series in Australia um, with a learning disability that before hit the top weren't even introduced to cricket. I got into the England blind cricket team and um, that's probably my highest achievement so far. I'm playing for the England MLD squad in Portsmouth. I've been training with them since during last winter, just before the Christmas. And I've had some games throughout the um, summer because they've got a new test season coming up. And hopefully next year they've got a South Africa tour coming up, which they want me for. And I think over the next 18 months and onwards, the success stories are just going to keep rolling and rolling. All of these young people with a disability have had their lives improved by the Hit The Top programme. We would like to take Hit The Top nationwide and help to change yet more children's lives. For information on how you could help, please visit us at www.cricketforchange.org.uk.